It's funny, seemingly uncontroversial, but hated by many. We've already discussed many of the reasons why, but one question remains. Where is she today? However, to give a recap, on the 2nd of September 2011, Kat launched her YouTube channel, It's Funny, but her first video didn't grace the platform until January 2nd of 2013, with a Minecraft short called Thirsty Crafter Minecraft Machinima Short. And over the following two years, she steadily built her audience with various Minecraft content, notably her Minecraft Yandere High School series, hitting 100,000 subscribers by November 4th, 2015. However, on July 11th, 2017, It's Funny would reach the impressive milestone of 1 million subscribers, largely due to her popular Minecraft content. However, as Minecraft's popularity went down, she pivoted to Roblox in late 2017, with nearly half of her uploads dedicated to the game. This strategic move paid off very well as she reached 2 million subscribers just under a year later with her channel continuing to grow rapidly, hitting the monumental 10 million mark on April 21st of 2023. However, despite her immense popularity, It's Funny has faced criticism from various quarters. Trolls have targeted her with baseless accusations, including false claims of scamming in Roblox and even accusations of racism. While the same people accusing her were also saying she created corona and while these claims lack credibility they highlight the challenges of navigating online fame others like the creator of the video titled it's funny a terrible youtuber rant by max btw show offer a more structured critique the video which delved into it's funny's perceived cringe factor and questions the authenticity of her content particularly her engagement with younger audiences on platforms like roblox and gacha life However, the incident that drew significant criticism unfolded on June 26th of 2021 when It's Funny teamed up with BBTV Corp for a game collaboration. However, her promotional video portrayed the project as solely her creation, igniting a firestorm of backlash over alleged misrepresentation, despite these controversies casting a shadow over her reputation. However, the question remains, does It's Funny still command the same level of popularity, relevance, and respect? Respect. What new content does she unveil to her audience? And most importantly, where does It's Funny stand today? Since our last update, her content has taken a noticeable turn, expanding beyond the confines of Roblox to embrace a broader gaming spectrum. In the past, It's Funny would upload videos on games such as Minecraft and Gacha Life. However, in recent times, she made a very bizarre decision to upload a Fortnite video. Why would a Roblox YouTuber with an audience like hers start uploading Fortnite videos and how would her audience react to the content shift? On the surface, there could be some audience overlap. However, when you look a little deeper, the questions become even more with little to no answers. Are Roblox kids really interested in Fortnite Battle Royale and aren't the majority of Fortnite's prime players at minimum 16 years old now? For people who can shoot decently but can't fail. Luna! We must save goals, even though she might not be yeah, up there. Let's we'll go! Let's go! Oh my! Ah! Ah! Dude, 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 dude! Survive, Luna! Bunny, the same bunny we were trying to kill, kill me. <laughs> These toilets are spicy. <laughs> The video would severely underperform on her channel in comparison to her other content around the same time frame. Was this viewership decrease a result of the hate against her, a reputational decline, or something else? It's most likely that her core audience doesn't care about Fortnite as a game. However, she also appears to be a little more desperate for views in recent times, ramping up the clickbait to a pretty weird level. My evil stepsister in Roblox Princess Tycoon, the video is really just a normal kind of over-the-top Roblox gameplay. However, it certainly raises some important questions. Why is It's Funny promoting this sus content to kids? Has it played a role in her statistical decline? Or instead, is this really just a nothing burger? Since this could certainly be a correlation and not an issue caused by anything, It's Funny's recent decline in viewership plummeted by over 50% in the last six months. It raises concerns about the sustainability of her content strategy 
strategy. One glaring issue is the repetitive nature of her videos, a criticism echoed by some viewers. And while we've addressed unfair attacks on her, it's crucial to acknowledge valid points raised against her regarding content repetition. A closer look at her channel reveals that 9 out of her last 10 uploads are Roblox roleplay videos, employing the same thumbnail and title combinations, and often featuring similar plot lines. For instance, the video titled Listen to Mum or Not Roblox, Don't Burn the House Down, showcases energetic but formulaic content, characterized by exaggerated enthusiasm and mediocre Roblox gameplay. The video is a pretty simplistic roleplay episode in which it's funny and her sisters act in a way that engages her young audience on camera, along with another video titled That's Not My Neighbor in Roblox, an upload that begins to show that this problem was not just a one-off issue, but instead a content problem that's been eating away at her viewership for months, if not even years. When watching the second video, you don't really notice any major difference in quality, substance, or storyline. To put it bluntly, the videos are all the same. Why would her viewers stay if every single upload feels like a repeat of the past? However, on the flip side, many of its funnies viewers don't seem to mind the content. Day one of asking the crew to play Hello Neighbor, I've been watching your videos since Yandere High School. I love you guys. It's funny has many other successful projects, including a group shorts channel she and her sisters created with various viral uploads, along with it garnering over 200,000 subscribers, and a separate, even more popular group channel that posts long form content. And with group uploads where the group of sisters showcase their charming, respectable, and charismatic personas on screen, the channel's success was really no surprise. The few uploads which were on it amassed view counts well into the millions. From their very first upload, which amassed over 2.5 million views, that showcased the group making mini food in real life, being a very unique, interesting, and hard to replicate concept to their almost hour long Christmas special upload, which went on to get even more views, with over 4.1 million, showcasing the sisters giving each other gifts during the holiday period, allowing viewers to connect with their close knit family and the enticing holiday vibes, and even the very last upload, which was a certainly intriguing travel video, which although not as popular as the others, was nearly an hour worth of unique content, garnering over 1.2 million views. The group was in a sense, bound to succeed. They had interesting characters, unique video ideas, and above all else, plenty of content. The only problem was, they stopped uploading. Like many of its fun -A's sisters channels, it became abandoned. Maybe the sisters didn't really enjoy making YouTube videos. However, it's certainly a very good question. Why did they abandon such a successful channel with podcast length videos, incredibly high ad rates, and features from one of the world's most popular and successful gaming channels? Why did It's Funny stop this project? Was it that she got too busy with her main channel to the point where she couldn't continue or something relating to her sisters? Regardless, the channel and its setup certainly says a lot about It's Funny's character and in a good way, she set up perfect circumstances for all her close siblings and family members who came from a pretty rough background as she did herself to see massive success. Why would someone do this? The simple answer is two main things. The first of which is the virtue of charity. It's funny is a perfect representation of this biblical virtue in the way how she takes care of her family, which leads into the second amazing and inspirational characteristic present in her persona. It's funny's deep level of investment in family. While it's not really clear if she's in support of traditional family values, you'd be pretty silly to make the claim that it's funny doesn't care about her family. She's put an immense level of effort into making sure they're doing well. But there's certainly a different argument to be made here with it's funny's many unsuccessful side projects. It raises one interesting and imperative question. Are the projects on her side taking enough time out of her YouTube content or main business that she won't succeed at any? Because we've seen this in the case of many other content creators, but in the case of It's Funny, the dots may join up. Her main channel content is beginning to get both boring and repetitive, and she seems to have pretty scattered attention. Whilst her side projects are important, the main channel is what should be getting all of the attention. She spent years building up the empire, and realistically, 
likely should be putting the most of her focus into it. And while this isn't a moral argument, success in business is usually a result of pure and unwavering focus on one thing. And while It's Funny has been immensely successful throughout her years on YouTube, what if more could have come from increased intensity of focus on what made her so successful to begin with? Instead of her videos getting just short of a million per shot, she could be achieving viewership counts well into the multi-millions. Additionally, if she was able to see more initial success on her main channel, she could have had her siblings run the side channel while she put all she had into what was her true calling. It's certainly a lot to think about, and the tale of its funny embodies the complexities of online criticism, showcasing how kernels of truth can be distorted by the collective uproar of the internet community. Her journey from a challenging upbringing to becoming a prominent gaming YouTuber, navigating through various gaming realms from Minecraft to Roblox, stands as a testament to resilience and determination. It's a narrative of triumph over adversity, a beacon of hope in the digital landscape. Yet, alongside her rise to fame, It's Funny has faced a barrage of unwarranted negativity. The hate directed towards her serves as a stark reminder of how genuine feedback can be twisted into weapons of mass destruction. Instead of constructive criticism aimed at fostering growth, it's often welded to tear down rather than build up. While our critique may have been blunt, it's essential to recognize that it comes from a place of wanting to see improvement rather than malice. Will It's Funny ever take the criticism we posed in this video to improve? It's really hard to tell. She seems pretty busy with her daily content grind. Additionally, for a YouTuber who has such a positive reputation and likely a high level of confidence, it's pretty unlikely she even watches videos that are critical of her. Is this a good thing? Or the final nail in the coffin for her future YouTube growth? I'll leave that up to you as the viewer to decide. And regardless of your opinions on this video, It's Funny holds a special place in the hearts of many. Regarded as a YouTube legend by her devoted fan base, our hope is that she can use this feedback, even the harshest, as a stepping stone toward refining her craft and continuing to inspire others with her story of transformation and perseverance. Let's choose encouragement over tearing her down, understanding over hostility, as we navigate the intricate world of online content creation. In other words, let's not send hate or harassment to its funny. But as always, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy content like this, please make sure to subscribe. And if you want to watch something similar, click the video on screen now.